Hello there. Studying for the psychiatric nurse practitioner is not an easy task. You need to get organized. I cracked the code. My name is Dr. Lopez, and today we are going over some of the most high yield part of my crash course that will help you pass the board. My name is Dr. Lopez. By MP exam coach, I help students pass the psychiatric nurse practitioner board certification. Come study with us. So this is what we're doing today. And we start with this roadmap. You guys saw the titles. First thing is inhibitors and inducers, right? Very important concept for sure will be on a board you must understand. So let's start with CYP. 1A2. I always, for some reason, I always think of the sauce, the steak sauce, I think is 1A or something, right? So think of that as that metabolized clozapine. And also, what are what are the other medication that 1A2 metabolize? Anybody remembers? Olanzapine. Olanzapine. Okay. So clozapine, olanzapine. Think of it as as your stake name, whatever makes you remember of it, okay? It induces, it eats out, so you don't have it of it. Think of putting the steak sauce on your true steak, clozapine and olozapine, if it helps you. It eats out, meaning if you have 1A2 and clozapine and olozapine, less of it will be available means out of the body is inducing out. I always like to think the the mother inducing the baby, right? Putting the baby out, that's your inducer. So it decreases. So the questions most likely would ask you, what is, it wouldn't ask you, what does it do? It will ask you the third order of thinking, which is, if I don't have it, I need to increase the medication, right? So for example, when you're doing uh, a cigarette smoking, clozapine and you're smoking now you don't have any enough enough of the body so your action that's most likely the question is what would you need to do increase the dose for example when the patient is taking olazapine starts smoking it necessitates a increase of the dose now patient comes back to you and says hey I want to decrease those wrinkles out of my face. I don't want to smoke anymore, right? I decided that I will stop smoke from this today on. So your action would be to decrease the dose. Very unlikely that they would ask what the, what the interaction is. Most likely, it will ask you what you need to do. But pay attention what's asking because that is what you would respond. So understanding the concept rather than memorizing is what's gold here, okay? So serum increase the drug level potentially would be a adjustment to prevent toxicity, right? So if the patient was smoking and stopped and you have a high dose, now would be a higher dose, example. Patient on med medication X. And in the inhibitory, which prevents the drug from leaving the body, may need a dose reduction of such medication to avoid toxicity. If a patient has been on both, important concept because we get this question asked all the time inducer and an inhibitor. Dr. Lopez, what happens? Inducer, example, Targetol. Inhibitor, example, um, erythromycin. So the inhibitor could increase the concentration of the inducer. So who's going to be up? Targetol. Okay, thus necessitating a dose reduction of the target all or a coordination with a primary care provider uh provider 
Okay, so please hold on the question. That, well, let's go ahead and answer the question because I think I might know what the question might be. Go ahead, please. Dr. Lopez, so is that the case for all medications if there is smoking will, or, or not all? Not all, not all, not as, I mean, not all, only those that are, are only those that are in the same category as 1A2. Because some of the medications are not uh, metabolized by the liver. Some of medications are metabolized by different uh, CYP. Okay, so it's not all, not all medication. But these two specifically are very known to be on a test. But here's a, a, a concept that I want you to really understand. Thank you for asking this question because it was important. When it comes with the inducer and the inhibitor, who goes up, right? Indu inhibitor wins, right? So the inhibitor could increase the concentration of the inducer. That's one point. Point number two. What would you need to do? Okay, now is the part that is your answer is contact your primary care provider to coordinate Torgatol or other medications that are, for example, erythromycin, chlorithromycin. So that's the part of the collaboration. Okay, so it may be an answer. Now you, you got me. If it says, hey, do I need to decrease the target all? Do I need to decrease the rhythmicin? That's a muddy answer, which, you know, yeah, I could, maybe, maybe not. But the right answer is contact your, your, your primary care provider. Think about it. How would you feel if somebody decreased your medication without telling you, right? And you don't want to necessarily decrease your target all without following up with, with the care, primary care about the rental mass and when that's going to be done. So the right answer really is contact the primary care provider. So in that in that example alone, this this slide alone, we learned about three or possible four questions. One, who are the CYP one A two, chlori uh, clozapine, olanzapine. Two, concept number two, what's the induce putting the medication out of the body, less available. Three, what's the inhibitor? keeping the medication in the body, possibly causing toxicity. Four, inducers and inhibitors together. Inducers, uh, inhibitors win, increases the inducer level. Concept number five, contact, in that case, contact your CPC. All clear, right? Well, what do you think about this content? Did you like it? was it helpful to you so make sure you subscribe make sure you drop a line let us know you like it or you hate it either way we are here to help now if you feel that we have a lot more to offer which actually we do we can have you pass the pmhmp board certification in no time my name is dr lopez and let me be your coach i'll help you best PMHMP board certification today. Come with us. Bye-bye.